Uh, Jackson looks around and says, uh, I think I'll head up to the bridge to figure out where we are. Some of you should head to the bunks and kitchens to grab your gear or if you need any food or anything. Anyone with any skill in piloting or navigation should come with me. I'm going with you then. I'll go and uh, get supplies and such. So, uh, all of our stuff is back in our bunks then, right? Pretty much, yeah. Okay. So but, but you would naturally carry on you. Like, casually. Yeah, okay, then I head back to my bunk to get my stuff. Though. Okay. Blank, what are you going to do? Um, are we factoring in weight? Yeah. Like, are we worried about all that stuff yet? I haven't yeah. figured out if I can carry all this stuff yet. That's fine. From the ship, um, you'll be able to carry everything because people will help you out. Okay. Um, yeah, then I'm going to go ahead and get my stuff, too. Okay. So, uh... So I'll, I'll very quietly go back to my bump and or bunk and just start mumbling. Okay. So, Flint and Joanna, you're going with Jackson. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sal, what do you want to do? I don't really need to do anything at this point, do I? Hmm? No, not really. You don't have to do anything. You could just sit there. Oh, you don't have like, your weapons and stuff on you. I don't? No. Okay, I guess I'll go to where they are. So you go back to your bunk and pick up your stuff? Yeah, definitely. Awesome. We will deal with you guys going back to the bunks first. Okay. Uh, you head back towards the kitchen and dining area to reach the bunks. Uh, as you get there, you see... All of the bunks are uh, burned out. There are some bodies strewn about them. Black ash and dried blood coat the entire area. Uh, you get to your own personal bunks and get your stuff, all that you can carry, onto your person. Uh, some people are just uh, crippled down, crying in their bunks, seeing dead loved ones. Others are beginning to move towards the kitchen because you've been without very much sustenance for a very long time. Is there anything that you three would like to do? Um, so currently I'm hungry? Yeah, you're all slightly hungry. Ah, um, in that case then I'm gonna go ahead and open up one of my combat rations and then just eat it while we're okay. all just kind of hanging out. I'd like to piss off some of the NPCs on purpose, some of the mourning families who have just lost people. I like to go up to them, put my hand on their shoulder, and say, It's okay. All life is impure. They are perfect now. They're just pieces of energy right now. Everything is going to be okay. And see how they react. Out of character, I kind of feel like the cleric is the dick class to play. Apparently. At least the way that he's doing it and the way that I did it. Both like... of our clerics so far have just been assholes. <laughs> the family I'm... just continues to cry. They basically ignore it. Be pushed beyond grief. You get some odd looks from the other people around that are gra gathering their stuff, but no one approaches you. <laughs> Alright. That's it. I'm going to do my best to silently walk past him in the general direction of the kitchen for food, but also checking any rooms for anything that uh, people may no longer need. Okay. <clears throat> so, once you guys have collected your stuff, uh, uh, Mercury, you can add, you got, like, uh, there are a couple of flashlights, uh, a bunch of, a lot of clothing, uh, like, two or three ration packs, and that's about all you find, besides miscellaneous guilt. Uh, what do you guys If I run do? across anyone else... Oh. What? I was just gonna say, if I run across anyone else in the hallways as I walk past them, seeing as I didn't get anything of value to me, I hand out the rations and flashlights to anyone who looks like they need them, in case the power goes out again. Okay. Once you've all gotten what you want, uh, what do you guys want to do? Just hang out in the bunks, head to the kitchen, head to the bridge. I wasn't paying attention. Are you addressing me? Yeah, you three. You uh, I'm headed to the kitchen to get something to eat. Okay. Blank? Um, well, being that the ship is in disarray... And we've spent time on this ship. Um, mm -hmm. Is there any kind of, like, armory or something on this place? No, there is no uh, functioning armory or anything. The closest you get was the tech priests who could repair 
uh, damaged weapons and stuff, but there was no... It's not a military craft, it's a simple trading craft. Okay. Um... Then I guess I'll start making my way towards the bridge then. Alright. Sal, what do you want to do? I'll follow that fellow into the kitchen. We can make food together. Excellent. I walk a little bit faster. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Blank, you will catch up with the other ones heading toward the bridge. So, let's see what, what awaits you guys in the kitchen. Um... So, Merc, Sal, would you both please roll willpower? Minus 20. Holy shit. Uh, did we so find some ghost fire falling in something, the bathroom? Something fun. <laughs> nah. That couldn't happen twice, could it? Nah, dog, nah. Alright, so I better roll a 10 or lower. Nailed it. So if it's a minus 20? Do mm -hmm. I have to put a minus in yeah, further? Yeah, minus 20. Then you can re-roll it because you have the... Oh, that's right. I can't wait to go insane ten right. minutes into the game. Yeah. Well, this is, it's a any fear test. You're allowed to re-roll a fail. I could potentially, if I get something really <laughs> bad. <laughs> fucking nailed that. All right, so... You crap, rolled the we... same fucking thing. Yeah, unfortunate. <laughs> Impressive. What are the chances, right? Well, before we deal with any of that other stuff, we have to figure out how afraid you guys get. So oh, I'm pretty afraid. Please roll 1d100 and Merc 1d100 plus 30. You type in slash or yeah slash roll 1d100 plus or just 1d100 because you didn't fail by a full degree. Sorry, do I need to? I'm, I'm just rolling a d100, right? What? 1d100 plus 30. Plus 30? Yeah. Plus 30. Okay. Yeah. Because you had three degrees of failure. Got it. Good. Okay, so do Salamander oh, first. So fucked. Sal, panic grips you. You must flee the source of the fear. If you're able, as fast as you can, your legs carry you away. Uh, you can only take half actions, and you gain 1d5 insanity points. Once away from the danger, you must successfully roll a willpower test to snap out of your fear. So, first roll 1d5. Slash roll 1d5. Alright, in your character sheet under uh, the very bottom, it says like insanity points. Insanity? You now have two. All right, and Merc was the other one, and you had a ninety-eight. Yep. Oh, you're both you both did the same thing. You both ran away as fast as fuck good. Roll oh, a d five. That is a that is a big uh, category. Sixty to one hundred. Yeah. Cool. Oh, you rolled a sixty-one. Yours is different. You didn't run. What? You froze in place. So, oh. Merc, you ran away in fear. You froze in place. Other than that, it's the exact same. You snap out of it near immediately. You'll have to roll a willpower test to snap out, Merc. Okay. And then add your one insanity point. Yeah, so let me know when you want me to do that, or am I doing it now? You can just roll it now. It doesn't, it's, doesn't really matter, because you're just going to go back to your bunk and start like, oh my god, that was such bullshit. Oh my god, that was such bullshit. Uh, I'm not, sorry, am I rolling like, it with a modifier, or is it just a straight willpower? No, it's just a straight willpower. It doesn't really matter, because we're not in combat. Good. So you're still, still freaking out. Fucked that up. Anyways, Sal, as you enter the kitchen, in horror, uh, the horror that you see before you immediately makes you recoil in dread. There are bodies strung up on the walls, bits of flesh lying on the ground, and great pools of blood dripping from the ceiling. Some bodies are twisted and contorted in unnatural and impossible ways. Arms and legs are torn off but still writhing. And it seems that the passengers the tech priest sent began to feed on each other in their insanity. With all the organs and flesh cascading together, it's hard to tell where some bodies end and others begin. You dare not look more, and you have lost your appetite. 
Look at all the twisted limbs in here. I didn't come well, to hey. the kitchen to eat pretzels. Look on the bright side, you're not hungry anymore. <laughs> you say alone Is because Mercury all of the other NPCs have fucking sprinted back. Uh, yeah, no, I don't think Mercury's hungry anymore. Okay. I think after seeing it, because you, you also saw all of that, just, you're done. You're fine. Yeah, no. I'm not hungry no more. In fact, you're probably back in your bunk vomiting a little bit. Okay. All right, let's get back to the rest of you guys. How's that sound? So, Flint, Blank, Ilana, Yaxon, you guys make your way into the common room. The room is devoid of life, and it seems almost entirely untouched by the chaos that took place on the ship. Mm. Aside from a few hastily written messages in blood, the messages are indiscernible. You can make your way either towards the bridge or back towards the bunk in the hallway in the kitchen. What do you want to do? Do we feel like we've won our gear, guys? Because I got a gun. That's about it right there. Um... Well, you said this was a common room, right? Yeah, this is the common room. Um, There's a few couches laying around. Uh, a table with, like, month-old food rotting away on it. But other than that, it looks almost entirely pristine. Um, okay, I'm going to search the room for anything useful. Okay, make a... Do you have a ser uh, roll search? I have search. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I know it. Uh, yeah. uh, you look over the room and don't find anything of particular import. Good. I'm glad we did this. Uh, Sal, I'm going to say that now you are back to the bunks with Mercury. Okay. Who is just kind of shaking on his bed a little bit. I'm having a good time. Yeah, he's having a good time. Uh, Flint? What are you and Joanna want to do? You know what? Let's just go to the bridge. Once we know exactly what's going on, we can be more prepared. Okay. Flint, you're going to go with? Uh, where's he going? Bridge. Yeah. Pay fucking attention, dude. I just want to get to the bridge. Sorry, I'm still editing this video. Uh, uh, you guys enter the bridge. It's obvious very obvious that a fight took place. There is burnt flesh, torn ligaments, and cracked bone littering all across the bridge. Uh, some blood has obviously short-circuited a few of the instrument uh, instruments, and you see the bodies of a tech priest, the astropath, the navigator, and the decapitated head of the captain. The astropath and the navigator are lying face down, las burns to the backs of their heads. As you enter, and witness all of this, Jackson from behind you says, My God. Well, we can't dwell on this now. We need to figure out where we are. Does anyone know how to operate a ship like this or navigate? I've flown military craft, but I sh might be able to figure it out. Well, it sounds like you have more experience than me. Once we figure out where we are, we'll have to... Or you should uh, pilot us to Valanthia. Copy that. Uh, what should yeah. I roll to test if I know how to do this? <laughs> well, you have piloting military vehicle, right? Yeah, is that a basic? Um, it should just be on your yeah. sheet. It shouldn't. It's not a basic skill. I don't think piloting anything is. Yeah. No, no, it's an advanced no. skill, so I have to test it. Yeah. You have to test it, anyways. Before we get to that, Joanna, is there anything? I'm I'm going to search the body and see if there's anything we need to worry about on them, like a booby trap or something. Alright. Uh, would you roll perceptor awareness, since you're looking for booby traps and stuff? Ah, crap. Okay. This roll's going to suck. Alright, so, you, uh, you look over the bodies. Um, well, you look over the bodies and the captain's head. The captain's head seems completely fine. It's just laying there, being a decapitated head. Um, 
the body of the tech priest, uh, as you ruffle it, you can feel that there's something trapped within his cloak, but he doesn't seem to be uh, dangerous in any way. Uh, as you approach the Psyker, the hair on the back of your neck begins to stand up, and as you get close to both of them, you feel a slight electricity in your fingers as you reach out towards them. You lay your hands on them and shake them. They don't move, and nothing happens. <laughs> as you look over their bodies, uh, you see the whites, uh, or their eyes are completely gone. There is only white and black veins reaching out from them. <laughs> the last shots, thankfully, seem to have killed this threat to the ship. <clears throat> I, I'm in the room, too, alright? Yeah. Yeah. Um, was was I able to see the way he reacted to touching the corpse of the Psyker? Uh, you could feel the slight the electricity uh, um, prickling in the air. Can I... I'd like to make a Sciations sci test. Okay, go for it. Sciations. Yeah. Um... Ba -bum -ba -bum -ba -bum. Wait, where do I... Oh, that's one of my actual skills. That's not an advance, so it's perception. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, but I don't get any kind of bonuses to that, do I? You can just get a plus twenty. Just pretty easy. Oh, okay. Sure. Uh you can see that there though there are there is a grip of power from the immaterium reaching to their bodies, their life force is completely depleted. Only a small remnant of a scream lingers on in their minds. Hmm. Could I detect the source of anything else past that, or the you don't feel anything else on the ship? No. No. So it's just localized to this. Yeah, these two there's bodies. just a small thread from the immaterium touching the bodies still, as the last cells get colder. Decay. <laughs> All right. Um, judging by the the state of the room, are we able to kind of figure out how it played out, or? Uh, yeah, uh, Joanna, you can probably uh, figure out from being an arbitrator for so long and being so amazing at deductive reasoning that uh, as soon as the hull breach was discovered, the captain fired upon both of the psychers. The resulting explosion of psychic energy obviously completely destroyed everyone in the room and left only his head behind. Beyond that, you know nothing of what happened and you don't you don't yet know exactly why the tech priest is dead. I'm going to relay all that to the others. Okay. And then does anyone know what you'd have to do in order to get the engines on this thing started again? Because the engines are the currently running. Well, that's what concerns me, because someone clearly got them running again, and we don't know who or what. Do you want to just, like, yell that down to see if anyone understands? Does anyone know how you'd, how you'd operate the engines on this thing? Nope. Maybe? I haven't looked hard enough. I'll just start have, mumbling to myself. Do you have tech use? Uh, or no, roll your piloting skill. Alright. No one has, like, stellar navigation or tech use, right? Mm-mm. Oh, fuck it. Good. Uh, anyways. Uh, you have tech use. You can go up there and try and figure stuff out. I can. Does that apply to ships? Yeah. Tech All use right. is literally anything tech related. Okay, if you say so, let's do it. Alright, uh, roll your tech use skill with a plus ten. Well, he's gotta make his way to the bridge first. Well, he, let's, we'll just say that, uh, <laughs> after Joanna yelled down, he got a huge grin on his face and just took off towards the bridge. <laughs> Leaving behind Mercury, weeping on his bed in his vomit and filth. I'm enjoying this so far. <laughs> I'm feeling right. I'm feeling By right. By the way, guys. how long do I have to wait in between uh, willpower tests, or how long does it take to just wear off? 
Uh, we'll just say like after five minutes, it just wore off. Like All right. you, you calmed, you steeled yourself after like five yeah. minutes. Then I'd like to clean myself up. <laughs> I'm sorry, you didn't enjoy the lubricant, sir. Awesome. So yeah, Salamander gets up to the uh, to the bridge and he looks beep, over. Beep, boop, boop. He looks over the instrumentation and goes to the navigational computers and star charts. Uh, after quickly typing on the uh, data entry slate, a screen pops up and tells you that the engines were kicked on uh, as the autopilot finally pulled the ship out of space. Uh, it happened approximately about six minutes ago. The autopilot was engaged about seven minutes ago, mm -hmm. even though it was really, like, as far as you guys felt, the autopilot was kicked on, like, a week ago. Or, that's when the tech priest went out. But it shows the tech priest was the one who cleared it, that the engines kicked on when the autopilot kicked on, pulling you out of warp space. And it also tells you that you are currently orbiting the planet Volanthia. Okay. Oh, that's good at the very I guess I tell it to my friends. Yay. So now all Friend of you... Friend is a strong word. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, now you guys know that. Except for Mercury, right? Because he's still... Mark. Mark's being a little bitch. Yeah. He will continue to. Okay. Though he does start well, walking over now that he's calmed down. Well, or Flint, the bridge, at least. do you uh, do you want to try and take us down onto onto Volanthia? Honestly, I don't really want to stay on this ship any longer than I have to. I don't want to either, so I'll try. All right. Do your piloting minus ten. Minus ten. Great. Minus 10. This is gonna fail. Yep. What do you know? Good. <laughs> Shocker. Can Mercury be in the room by this point? Yeah. Yeah. What's happening in here? Please tell me it's better than the kitchen. They don't know what. Well, he knows what the kitchen is. He <laughs> does. Also. Yeah. One he person. The kitchen was great. That's all I care about. Nobody so no one wants, wants to answer, answer him. <laughs> yeah. That was in character. I don't care. I'm still kind of mumbling to myself. Good. I'd like to slit his throat. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah uh Flint you you get behind the controls and you feel the power of the engines you breathe a little bit in and out to calm yourself as you've never piloted a ship this large before in fact the only thing you've ever piloted is a skimmer you feel woefully underprepared for the task you've just done as you begin the landing procedures for this vessel. As you pull through the outer stratosphere, you realize that this ship is probably equipped with a shuttle, and that's probably what you should have used to try and land. But it's too late now, you're deorbiting. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, molten bits of the underbelly panels of the ship fly all around you, and you can see from the bridge beautiful shimmering lights cross faster and faster as more and more atmosphere wells up under the belly of the ship. <clears throat> Despite your <clears throat> lack of knowledge, you impressively get the ship down in a gigantic hunk of burning metal. Yay. <clears throat> Will everyone please take a minus 10 toughness test? Well, our, and like a so in we like in free fall right now, and then we get Smacked. You'll be fun. You'll find out. I can't wait until you well, add, like, open to the thing, so I have, don't keep going over to characters. Because if that's the case, I could do reactionary float, right? Mm-hmm. Hey, I got a one. Nice. So am wow. I, am I allowed to do that? That'll never happen again. You won't need it. So you want to tell us just uh, how awesome you are? <laughs> how good uh, I was at being tough? Simultaneously, so, would you like to tell okay. me how I died? 
<laughs> Anyways, just take, just roll the toughness test minus ten. Minus ten. Ah, yeah. okay. All right. So, <clears throat> despite Flint, uh, Flint's glorious ineptitude, uh, just before you were about to cast uh, slam into the planet below you, the uh, reaction control and a few other small burners on the ship kick in at the last second to dampen your impact. Though the impact is incredibly violent and jarring, uh, only a few of you walk away with much more than a bruise and a very upset stomach. Do I vomit again? No, you don't vomit. Well, you, uh, Sal and Merc will be taking a minus 10 to all tests for the next hour. That's all. All, all tests? All tests. 100% of the tests. Well, that's gonna suck. Good. Anyways. Merc, you're off to a great start. <laughs> you have now landed! Congratulations! Three people on the ship I died. fucking... Always Danny's fault. Space travel. You know what's funny is the beginning that you're having is kind of what I had on the campaign you had as or UGM done. <laughs> I vomited. But I gave you the option to take a trip <laughs> and not vomit all over everyone. <laughs> How's it feel? <laughs> um, At least I didn't forget Sal to you, uh, strap my weapons down. Sal, as you manage to get back to your feet, uh, you look over the shipboard comms and notice, or not shipboard comms, ship's computers, and find that you are uh, designated a few kilometers outside of the city of Sanctuary. The ship is a massive rubble, pretty much, and uh, yeah. I think part of me wishes that the ship went out in a blazing glory, of course, <laughs> you know. No one would fault you for that. Mm. Except Mercury, because he's a dick. So, we're not following that guy, right? <laughs> <laughs> Only a piece of that loud. I'm not asking to be a leader here. Jackson howls and slaps Flint on the back. <laughs> Is that your <laughs> first time, boy? <laughs> uh, I've had better. This is bigger than anything I've ever piloted. But I'd like to see you try it next time. Hey, and then I down swiftly and... struck, like, struck him off and walk away. Hey, man, I mean, you got us down. Thanks for that. It was easily not the worst part of my journey. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, uh, though all the passengers are now pretty much not screaming anymore. Yay. What do you guys want to do? Get off. I'd Giggity. like to personally thank him for not killing me. <laughs> Good. Get our shit. Get off. So our I shit. hold my hand up to shake yours. Good. As you continue editing. All right. Uh, so you uh, all basically collect your stuff and leave the ship. Seems like a good idea. Yeah. There's my TV. Okay. Sal, you agree with that? Yeah. Let's do it. Awesome. All right. I thought I had a burp coming, but I didn't. So that's fun. Oh, there it is. Uh. You all get off the ship, Jackson, uh, Jackson and Mercury helping uh, any of the weaker or younger people off with their equipment, since they seem the most benevolent and magnanimous of all of you. Um, you exit the ship, and Jackson decides that he and the rest of them will head off to Sanctuary. Do you guys object, or would you like to go with them? Um, I'll go with them. I'll go I'll with go them, yeah. Okay, so everyone's going? Yep. Okay. <clears throat> uh, you walk through, or you walk a few kilometers across a uh, very temperate plains. The air is warm. It's probably a little after midday. Um, the How long grass does it take comes to walk up to your city. Hmm? How long does it take us to walk four kilometers? Not long. Why? Well, I mean, if we're traveling in a large group, right? Or is it just the five of us? It's a large group. Or six. Four kilometers isn't that far. No, but you said we're helping the elderly, or did the six of us ditch them? No, you're all... It's fine. Just calm down, Zach. You're all traveling together across the plains. Can I get back to my fucking story now? <laughs> Maybe. 
Oh, well, if we're in an open area, I would like to pull out one of my weapons. Okay. Uh, I'll hold on to my last pistol nervously. Just like. Anyways, as you guys are crossing this plane, these planes, before Mercury fucking decided to argue with God about <laughs> stuff. Uh, he does you, it often. You look into. You look, you see in the distance a, uh, a sizable group of people approaching you from the direction of Sanctuary. 